funny how easy it is to get fixated on 3D printing things when you've got a 3D printer. I was just taking all the measurements off here and had started designing a 3D printed one of these that I could drop that inside. And then it occurred to me, I expect we can get this apart. I've just been pushing hard on the side here and we can hear a little crack as I do it. So I reckon if I work my way round, there's a good chance we can separate this and retain the plastic case. So I'll work on that and see if we can do that. Definitely a nice cracking noise there when I do that. It's a matter of which way it goes. I'm guessing, well, this is a plastic case. I'm guessing that sits in it, so there might be some ridges around the edge that hold it in place. It may be glued, it may be... Um, Vibration welded, as they call it. But I'll work my way around, see if we can get, get it apart. If I shatter it, then I will carry on doing the 3D printed design instead. Just show you what I mean. If I squeeze that down on there, you can see there's a ridge opening up all the way around there. Get my fingernail in it now. So, that's what's inside. Mm, Looks like they're glued in place with something. Either that or it's just the way that they've corroded. I can see that one. Can I get the light on it? Yeah, that one's gone all crusty around the edges. I just think we can get them out. Come on. One's coming. Hmm. That one doesn't want to come. It's a bit crusty in there. Three out of four are coming out okay. Just need to get that one to free up. That's the one that's gone all corroded on the inside. Right. Yeah, I think that one's probably um, not working. 
And we have the empty container. Still need to cut that central divider out so we can slide the power bank in there. But that also means that we could make use of the original connectors. I'll think about that. Just for reference, we can see these four pieces here on the cover or top with the slot in them match up with those four dividers. So that's probably holding it together. You know, they actually clamp onto there to hold the top on. Oh well, a disassembly of an old 6 volt, I'm sure they call them square batteries, they're not square but yeah, yeah that spot of glue, that's why that one's come off, that one's got glue on it, so yeah, spot of glue on each corner and then push the top on. Right, mine's rambling a little bit here. I am definitely not going to do this, but just for reference, you could get nine 18650s in there, three banks of three, quite easily. So if you call them 4.2 volts fully charged, nine fours. 36, isn't it? 36 volts. Had to think for a minute then. <laughs> yeah, you could get 36 volts in there if you really, really wanted to. So you could have quite powerful uh, light bulb on the end of it. I'm not going there. I'm just going to stick with my original idea of a couple of, well, just using that power bank and dropping it in there. Because that's obviously got the charging circuit in it and everything but that's just to give you an idea of what you could put in there if you really really wanted to three would fit in there quite easily and then three layers so nine thanks for watching if you want more information check down below in the video description if you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel. And down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.